Our next question was sent in the corny drive through at gmail.com from Red Spiral Ray. Jim, being that you worked with Vader for many years, I was hoping you'd have some info on a question that's bugged me for a while. I've heard a rumor that Vader was referred to as the man they call Vader in the WWF to avoid a potential lawsuit from Lucasfilm. <laughs> Can you confirm this? Did Vader ever have any trouble from Fox or George Lucas during his career due to his name? I imagine it would be highly protective of the Darth Vader brand. So I've always wondered how he was able to wrestle with that name and not be sued into hell. Well, I can't sit here and say with 100% certainty that nobody ever contacted him about his name, but obviously nothing ever came of it. And I can tell you that in the WWF, no, that wasn't a reason. A reason is the same thing they used to announce Sting is the man they call Sting. Because one named people weren't all that common in wrestling those days. And it, it was like a better end. The man they call Vader was to Vince was a better intro than Vader. It, 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 that's pretty much as deep as it went. I don't mean to be disappointing, but uh, you know, I kind of think it was the opposite. Wasn't it that because new Japan either sued or threatened to sue after their deal with Vader ran out, that's why he wasn't able to continue to be called Big Van Vader. Remember, he was Big Van Vader, and then New Japan... But that was that was in the WCW days. That was in WCW, and then he became Vader, and the reason New Japan couldn't stop him from being Vader was because George Lucas owned the rights to the name Darth Vader. Yes. I could, yes. So I don't think anyone interfered with him at all about it, because that's... I mean, right there was the example. They They tried to stop him from using any semblance of the name Big Van Vader and they couldn't completely stop him because they didn't own the rights to it. George Lucas did and no one from George Lucas's company interfered. Yeah, they came up with a gimmick that they basically stole themselves and then when the guy left, they couldn't stop him from taking it <laughs> somewhere else because they didn't own it to begin with. But yeah, and, and that's and basically, you know, a one named guy, the man they call, you know, dipshit, whatever it may be, just was a little bit more of a build up And uh, you know, I kind of stole a little bit with Flash Flanagan was here in OVW and I love Flash as a worker and as a human being. I just never liked the last name Flash Flanagan sounded limiting. So I just knocked it off and called him Flash, but we added the, the intro, the man who loves to steal the show because that was back when Michaels was the showstopper. And fucking, you know, Flash was always doing the flashy shit, right? And he was quite blah, blah, blah. But just, it's an introductory tagline type of thing. 